In this English pronunciation lesson, we're going to look at common phrases that are used in British English. You won't just learn the phrases, you'll be learning fast speech, connected speech and intonation, which will all help your fluency. So let's get started. Okay, so common phrases for price. It cost a fortune. Or take away it. Cost a fortune. Notice the stress, cost and for. Cost a fortune. And of course the link between the t in cost to the following vowel. Uh. Cost a fortune. It cost an arm and a leg. Whew, that did cost a lot. It cost an arm and a leg. Notice the linking. It cost an arm and a leg. It cost an arm and a leg. 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 <laughs> How much? How much? That's what happens when you go home and you say, I've just bought myself a Gucci handbag. How much? That's a rip-off. Yeah, probably. That's a rip-off. And the link between rip and off. So it's not rip-off. It's rip-off. Rip-off. That's a bit pricey. That's a bit pricey. Notice the link between s and a. Uh. That's a bit pricey. Did you hear a T with the bit? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glottal stop. That's a bit pricey. That's because you need to say a P afterwards. That's a bit pricey. And the stress is on that and price. Or, that's quite reasonable. That's quite reasonable. That's quite reasonable. Again, the T in quite is missed off. That's quite reasonable. It's quite okay just to miss off that T there. It's, it's not a worry. But if you're talking about a Gucci handbag, I really don't think you'd use that phrase. Mm -mm. How about this one? That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Stress on that and stress on deal. That's a good deal. Or you could say, that's a great deal. And then the stress goes on the adjective, great. That's a great deal. How about, that's a bargain? That's a bargain. That's a bargain. I think that's better. That's a bargain. Well done. Or this one. That's a real bargain. That's a real bargain. Cheap as chips. Cheap as chips. Well. You don't pay much for chips, do you? So you got the idea. I mean, you wouldn't say, oh, cheap as champagne, darling. Or cheap as caviar. <laughs> Common phrases for weather. Ooh, it's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. Ooh, it's a bit chilly. Notice the T's lost again. Bit chilly. It's freezing! It's freezing! Notice the stress on freeze. It's freezing! Ooh. Ooh. Common phrases for hot weather. Oh, it's absolutely boiling. It's absolutely boiling. Notice the stress. Absolutely boiling. Or it's scorching hot. It's scorching hot. Whew. Whew. I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> Common phrases for being tired. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Notice the link. M I'm ex I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Or, I'm absolutely exhausted. Can you hear the intonation? I'm absolutely exhausted. Comes down at the end. 
God, you've got no energy. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm dead tired. I'm dead tired. Notice the D. You lose the D. I'm dead tired because D and T are made on the same part of the alveolar ridge, so the D gets dropped in favour of the T. I'm dead tired. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I can, I can, notice, can becomes can. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Now, P and M are close together. So what happens here? Listen, I can hardly keep my eyes open. P and M are made with the same part of the, the mouth here on the lips, P and M, but P is unvoiced and M is voiced, M is voiced. I can hardly keep my eyes open. So the M takes charge. I can hardly keep my eyes open. And the link, the link between my and I, my, my eyes, my eyes, and then my eyes open, my eyes open. So the S becomes a Z because it's linking to a vowel. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I can hardly, I can hardly, I can hardly keep my eyes open, my eyes open. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I'm going to hit the sack. Hit the sack means go to bed. Sack meaning bed. I'm going to hit the sack. Going to becomes gonna. Hit becomes hit. I'm going to hit the sack. Next one. Common excuses. I'd love to, but... Or, I'd love to. Trouble is, I've got to work. I'd love to. Trouble is, or unfortunately, same meaning. I'd love to. Notice two isn't weak, it's strong. I'd love to. Trouble is, and the link, trouble is. I've got to work. Got to? Two T's together becomes one. I've got to work. Sorry, I'm blind as a bat without my glasses. Or, sorry, blind as a bat without my glasses. Anyway, I hope you don't need glasses. I certainly do. And I'm often as blind as a bat when I come to read something. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. And, uh, well, until next time, have fun. Practice with the intonation. If you want more practice, go here. <laughs> Until next time, love and peace.